This episode of Weird D&D, get your reading glasses ready as we dive into our first adventure, The Dancing Hut of the Baba Yaga. Authored by Lisa Smedman in 1995 for second edition D&D, it stands out in an era of intensely creative and strange content. Looking at you, Spelljammer. Players are tasked with exploring the aforementioned hut to save a missing person, find an item, or another similar hook. Little do they know it belongs to the Baba Yaga, one of the most powerful evil-aligned mages in existence. Her hut has chicken legs, and like the TARDIS, it's much bigger on the inside. You're probably thinking, well, that's not that weird. Well, let's talk about some of the rooms. One door leads to the intestines of the person who opens it, and if they go inside, they fold in on themselves and can instantly die. Another door leads to Tokyo battling a giant lizard, a Terminator ghost is in the armory, and many more. There isn't a single normal room, and there are a lot of rooms. And we haven't even touched on the Baba Yaga herself, or that during the adventure she's trying to capture the cosmic force of death to make a deal. What do you think of this adventure? Should it be remade for 5e? 